started cycling at a young age. Uh, my father kind of got me into it probably late uh, elementary school, early middle school age and uh, started getting into it. He rode uh, a lot, of, you know, 100 miles a week then and kind of got me into it and slowly kind of, uh, you know, built up the mileage and uh, just enjoyed spending time with him and, and, uh, and my brother uh, going for rides. We're heading over toward Gate City uh, right now to get back some KOMs. I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm going to hit a few segments hard that uh, that I've got taken from me. So uh, again, the competitive competitive juice is coming back in in uh, in play here, and uh, I'm going to try to get a few segments back that I've lost over the last week or so, and uh, I'm going to try to hit hit it pretty hard. And so looking forward to a, a great a great day to ride. And, Uh, the first segment we're going to be uh, trying to get back is the golf golf course crossover located in Gate City, uh, Virginia. So uh, we're heading over there right now to get that back, and it's about a two two and a half mile climb that's averages five uh, percent or so. So it's not you know extremely steep, but it is a pretty good uh, incline uh, throughout the whole climb. So we're Pretty tough segment, but I think I can get it back and you know, ride hard. And I think my training's paid off, and look forward to seeing what I can do and making up the time time lost. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the uh, the segment and getting ready to get out here and and. Uh, get our stuff together, get my shoes on, my helmet on, and my bike out, and get it ready. Uh, ready to maybe get a little warm up in and uh, and try to hit a few segments here pretty soon. So, see what we can do. I know a few a uh, few different stories of uh, looking at different segments on Strava and, and wanting that King of the Mountain uh, KOM on that segment. So I would pick out a few, you know, maybe a, a week in advance or something, and, and kind of shoot for that. And one in, in, that comes to mind is a guy that had it in Gate City, pretty close to Gate City, up close to the golf course. And uh, I was wanting that one, and I had it at one time, and uh, he ended up beating beating me by 10 seconds, I think. And I came back the next week and, uh, and beat his time by like 30 seconds. Uh, I think growing up, uh, being competitive was kind of always uh, in our family just because I had a twin brother and uh, kind of competing against him. Not a bad way, just a good way. Always, you know, trying to do things better uh, than him. And uh, I think cycling, uh, you know, with Strava, getting to compete and uh, keeping up with your times and trying to beat your times or trying to beat other people's times, kind of, um, you know, it makes you, even if, if you ride by yourself, it makes you ride hard just because everybody else is, uh, you know, watching your times. And, but I think uh, just the uh, intensity of a, a workout and the intensity of trying to beat somebody else's time or your uh, own, own time uh, makes it fun, kind of pushing yourself and competing.
beautiful out, isn't it? It is, it really is. Are you trying for competition? Well, I, I try to do, compete pretty locally, you know, nothing too crazy, but I yeah. try to, I try to, uh, right. yeah. How was your ride out there? It was great, great weather, uh, great temperature, and uh, traffic wasn't too bad. And it was great just to get out and get a great workout in and, and uh, just enjoy uh, this weather. I got one dirty joke. It's a white horse fell in the mud. It's pretty dirty. The mud was pretty deep. <laughs> Real dirty. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> It's kind of like MTV Cribs. Come on in. Check out my crib. This is the dungeon where it all happens. The training sessions begin in the dark dungeon. So you can push, push yourself to the limit, have a great time, have a great workout, but expect darkness during your workout and a tough workout. This is a Cyclops Smart Trainer, which is uh, Bluetooth ready. So uh, you hook it up, hook the trainer up to the power source, crank the resistance knob against the back tire and during the training session depending on what elevation you're riding at it adds resistance to this back roller back here so it uh, you can get a great workout even though you're in your basement even though you're on a trainer it uh, adds resistance to your back wheel so if you're climbing a, if you're climbing uh, a hill or a mountain it'll add resistance so um, it makes it harder to pedal, so you, you do have to um, you know, ride like you are riding up the mountain that we're getting ready to ride up. So um, what I usually do is once I get on my trainer, get my iPad set up, get my trainer hooked up, get my bike where I need it to. Um, I always have to have a bottle of water beside of me. Got this little table here just for that. So um, sometimes I will bring a banana down too. So. It's uh, got everything ready now. Got everything hooked up. Get on my bike. About to start a workout. Here we go. An hour of straight fun, dripping sweat, and of course, headphones, some good music, some country hits. Chris Stapleton. <laughs>